when it's too hot and the air is too full of Canada wildfire smoke, we stay inside and play a little drinker's duel. Welcome to Wisco Dice. Hey, yo, folks, I am your host, the Conzie with the Most, and I am joined today by... Hey, I'm Suzanne. And today we're going to play Drinker's Duel. Yes, this is a game by Shady Pet Games that they sent us a copy to review and play through and let you guys know what we think about it. Uh, just a heads up, this is not a drinking game. It's about drinking, and the box does say that it's for ages 21 and up, mainly because here in the U.S., most places you just can't drink alcohol until you're 21. Or perhaps you make it a drinking game, and I am enjoying a wonderful Central Waters bourbon barrel stout with this game. Yes, yes, you, you can make most, yes, you definitely could do that. Not so. that we're condoning drinking, but it is a Wisconsin pastime. Yes. So, and uh, Drinker's Duel, when it goes out, it's going to have the classic version, and then we found out that they are doing a beer version. So if you really want your beers, you can do it that way too. But before we get into how to play this game, as well as the playthrough and ultimately the review and what we think of this, please take a moment to give this video a like, and uh, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. How do you play this game? All right. So this game is, it's a deck of cards, basically, that all the cards have a quarter of two drinks on them. Uh, some have a watermark on them also. And there's other ones that say, hey, you're sober or you are drunk. So on your turn, you are going to draw a card from the draw pile and then play a card from your hand. The card you play needs to match up exactly on a side with other drinks. So you can't have half of a Moscow Mule next to half of a tequila shot or a quarter of a tequila shot. That doesn't work. If you play a card with a water dot, then your opponent has to take a break and their turn is skipped. If you choose not to play a card in your hand and you have a drunk card, you can play it on your op opponent and a certain type of drink, if they complete those, will not count. If you have a drunk card in front of you and have a sober card in your hand, you can play that on top to cancel out the drunk effect. And lastly, if you cannot play any cards in your hand, you just discard one. And it's a race to uh, three completed drinks to win. So. Yeah, thanks for the tutorial. So. Yeah, everybody, to, to set up the game, it's pretty simple. You shuffle the big giant deck of cards, keep the rules cards handy. Uh, it is really awesome. They have a QR code, so if you don't want to bother to uh, uh, read the one card of actual rules, you can QR code it to uh, get the code, get the rules online. So we're each start with five cards. And you must play one of these. Both players must play this one immediately as kind of the start of their tableau. All right, so I am going to. So when you look at your cards, I don't know. I don't know what your strategy is when you're thinking about these cards. I know in the last game when I had uh, in our in our prep game of this, uh, I kind of looked at what do I have a lot of types of symbols of, and tried to play off of that. So. so that did not work for me so well because all of mine were like the same two parts of a Moscow Mule or the same two parts of a wine glass. So it was a little, I got into a, hey, I'm stuck. But I am. going to take advantage of our awesome gaming table to yeah. you have a little place for the cards. Thank you, Geek and Son. Uh, we did buy this table, though, so it's... <laughs> but it's a great table. Yeah, yeah, we do love our Geek and Son table. All right, so I have a quarter of a tequila shot and a beer mug. A Moscow Mule and a wine glass. Right. And uh, go ahead and... Oh, wait, I, yep. I'm, the, I'm the one that's drinking last because you do not have a cocktail or drink nope, in front of you. I am drinking water. Yeah, I don't think that's the right way to play this game. So first thing you do on your turn <laughs> is draw a card. And add it to the hand of cluster in that you have. 
then you're going to play a card. So I'm going to play this top half of this Moscow Mule uh, and a stem of our Martini. All right. That's my turn. I, ooh, so I got this nice top foamy mug of beer, which will fit really great on top of that one there. And that's, that's my turn. That is. That's not a, a good way to start this the game. Is, Awesome. No, it's terrible. Yeah, we'll terrible. see. Terrible. All right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, I'm going to have part three of my Moscow Mule. Oh, gosh. All right. So I did get another part of a wine glass. So I could add to my wine. Or. I am going to actually play this part of a beer mug. Oh, that's lame. It has two parts of a big mug on it. I didn't want to drink water. I'm drinking beer over here. It makes him take a water break. I get to go again. Is it backwards upside down? I don't know who put that deck there, so. And very good that I did this because look, I got. Ha <laughs> ha! That was a quick <laughs> to wide. I now. But if he plays a beer drunk card on me and I don't have a sober, I'm in trouble. Yeah, it'd probably be a good play play on my part then. Yep. Um ba -dum -dum, ba -dum -dum -dum. I think I am going to play this wine glass. Oh no, I can't play that there. Why Never can't mind. you play that there? Because it doesn't match the sides. So I think I'm gonna play this show wine everyone. glass. I'm going to play this wine glass instead. All right. Nope, you don't need to see my card again. God oh, dang it. Why oh, wait, did you just I'd... take a card? Sorry, I'm not that. You I'm only cheating. draw a card your turn. I'm a cheesed now. <laughs> Cheester. All right. So that card was really not that helpful for me. So, like, it's part of a martini glass, but I can't do this diagonal. So yep, you have to play some. That doesn't work so well. Orthogonally. Fancy but... words. Yes. So I could. You just want to discard one of those things. You don't have anything you no, can play on that, right? I, I could. I have two options. I could either do this half the martini glass, or I could do this half the wine glass. But because that piece of wine's going to go over there, I'm going to do that wine glass. Oh, I'm showing you all, all that my cards. Drama. It doesn't matter. I'll still win. Um, Maybe not. Well, we're going to give you a water rake. Ah. Oh. And Water complete break. my Moscow Mule. That's worthy of a drink. <laughs> and then I'm going to play... Oops, I got to draw again. Yep, your mm, turn again. Perfect. Okay. Then I'm going to play this wonderful card. Oh, another water break? Another water break. Which means I will take another turn. Excellent this card. Is not looking good. And then... <laughs> think I'm running out of some options here now. I think I'm going to place that martini stem there and we're going to call life good. All right, my turn. Okay. So I would like to place martini stem there, but yeah, don't these work. don't match. So I am going to just go ahead and put this martini stem up here instead. By the way, this game, while it's a nice little two-player, does seem to be a bit of a table hog. Yeah, the well, last game I had this long... You had a very tall vertical. Yep, it was a lot tall and narrow. So, yep, it is your turn. I was nice and not make you take a water break. Nope, 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 nope. I think I am going to. It's a lot of nopes he's saying. Yeah, there's a lot of things I would like to do, but I don't have quite the right cards for. So I'm gonna place this little tequila shot there. I think. Uh, all right, drawing a card. No, no. Oh, that's actually a pretty nice card, but we're going to go and keep working on this martini glass up here, I think, with some tequila. Um, yeah, 
Why don't you be tequila drunk? All right. I will be a tequila drunk. One of the, I'm just going to know that one of the things you don't want to do, like you don't, you kind of want to hang on to these drunk cards till the right opportunity to play them. But at the same time, if you're like, end up getting multiple drunk cards or sober cards in your hand, that Me means too. you're running, you're limiting yourself on options to play here. So hoarding those cards, there's a real balance to needing to hoard those cards uh, for the right time to play them or to, uh, or to just get them out of your hand so you can have more options when it gets to be your turn for what you can place in your tableau. All right, you ready for this? Dun, 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 martini! Yeah, there's no martini drunk. Apparently you can't get drunk on martinis and Moscow mules. Ah. Only and... tequila, wine, and beer. Sure, that makes sense. But anyway, I'm not, I to... not from my experience, but actually I don't think I can get drunk on martinis because I don't think I can drink more than like a, a couple of sips. <laughs> yeah. Especially right. if they got a bunch of... I love green olives, but martini with an olives? Bleh. Not my drink. <laughs> this is why we're a Wisconsin beer family. Well, I do like a beer. Um, That is... Well, I had a spot I could do for that. I think I'm going to put this down instead. And call life three quarters of a tequila shot. All right, what am I got? Ooh. I got one and, I got one and a half ounces of tequila there. That does there. not do anything. Do I start working on a wine glass? We should have like a bonus oh. rule for like one tequila shot, two tequila shot, three tequila, <laughs> tequila shot, shot, four. four. Uh, <laughs> you're automatically out if you. If you win the game, With if you have three, three tequila, tequila shots, shots, you just lose. I wonder if that's possible. I just played half a beer. Maybe it's maybe it's online. in the bonus rules that are online. I don't know. We'll have to double check those. But yeah. or future expansion. <laughs> we got ideas. Um. All right. So. Got plans over here. Doesn't work. That doesn't work. That doesn't work. None of these things work. Then you gotta discard a card. Well, that works. What? No, I don't want to be a wine drunk. Mm -hmm. uh, well, I am going to wait before I put a that's silver was, one there to see if I actually complete any of these. Doing? Oh my gosh! <laughs> Empty wine bottles for crafts. Mm -hmm. All right. So I drew this. I am going to actually do, since I don't have a beer drunk yet, put this beer martini glass down. Move these. I'm just gonna move this I'm not liking the my chances. I only have one completed drink so far. Yeah, but if I if you get a beer drunk one, I'm sh I give it to me, I'm shot. Mm -hmm. Well, put half of wine glass there. At least I know I can't get the wine drunk. All right. So if I could ever okay. complete a wine. So I could. Are you are you hoarding all the wine cards over there? No. Hey, Definitely listen not. to me whine about everything and nothing at once. <laughs> all right, I'm going to go. Sing. I'm going to go before he keeps singing. There, I'm going to put some wine and a Moscow Mule down. Oh, I could really use that card. I know. That's why I put it out there uh, so you could just look at it. I'm really admiring that card. <laughs> I feel like mine is very organized right now. I'm getting this nice square rectangle square, I guess squarish shape, rectangular shape. I think it's from a plane. Yeah. Are you done? Mm -hmm, correct. All right. Oh, that does not help there. That. I'm very good at have collecting partials, like three quarter partials. That's like my skill in this game. <laughs> Well, it's all right. I think a game like this you can't really take too seriously, but like some like uh, some of it is luck of the draw. I mean, there's a little bit of strategy. You do have a hand of cards, <laughs> like, and you are you are kind of set matching. Yep. But I like the little silly, cartoony artwork uh, artwork on here. Yeah, that's kind of cool. I, I will um, just note the sober 
It's a lady in a martini glass. I don't know if I'd be in a martini glass if I was sober, but it's still fun. Not what I needed. Don't worry, I'm working on my partial collections. Not even something I can play. Not something I can play. Not so, yeah, I could play this. I'd say it's not absolutely it's, punishing either. If you have to, if you can't play a turn or two, you have to discard and draw and discard and draw. You, you well, you discarded twice last discarded game. Discarded twice, yeah. And still won the game because I'm the lord of partial drinks. <laughs> if I have to draw a card. Mm -hmm. Oh, this is the perfect card. Might as well work on a partial drink there. All right. And so if this... Draw a deck, runs out so you can't draw it the first time. You take all the cards in your hands and you shuffle them all together and deal all the cards out is yeah. what it says. That really prevents someone from hoarding, like, say, a drunk or a sober card or um, something. It throws up a lot of, throws a lot of random into it. So, you, so even if you think you're hoarding that one card, you might end up inevitably, uh, if the deck runs out, giving nope. it to your opponent. Yeah, you can't place that, that there. One. Fine, we'll do this one. Then now next turn you'll be able to place the other one there. Yep, I just did it backwards. How many full drinks do you have over there? Two. One, two. One, two, two jeepers. I had two for a long time. Oh, it's killing me. Killing me here, Smalls. Ooh, perfect card. Perfect card. Perfect card at the right time. Did you get a full drink? That is a full tequila full shot. shot. Oh, way to go. Moscow Mule followed by a tequila shot. We're having a party over here. <laughs> um, so I really feel like I could, you know, I'm really worried about making it so I have three cards on a side because then the oh, one it makes it plate, really hard to finish. Like I just, yeah. I got super lucky. I'm like, I have to play that card there because that was the. And I have not played this game long enough to know. How many of each more card. are going to be out there of certain types? Yeah, yep. yeah, it certainly. Ugh. So I am. I'm just going to go ahead and play this and hope that I get a tequila and wine because I don't see the upper right quadrant of wine out here yet with the tequila. I don't know if there is one. Yeah, who knows if there is one. Um, but I do know. Oh, you've got the card with the two Moscow Mule pieces on it. Uh, mm hmm. I'm saving my silver card until he's until I see if he makes me drunk on beer or something. Mm. Uh, Time oh, for a water break. Fine. Oh, dang it! Why'd you give me a water break? So there are five water break cards, and we have four of them out. He's got three of them so far. Mm -hmm. Great. There are three drunk cards, and we have two of those out. Give them to me. Mm -hmm. Yep, that's great. <sighs> My turn now? And you're still winning. I don't know about that, because I'm not getting the Well, you're the pieces. first of two drinks. <laughs> and you're, like, literally a piece away from defeating me. Ugh. <sighs> don't know what to do. Of course, I'm now multiple A pieces away from defeating you. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, I think, actually, I think this is what I have to do is go here. And hope I can find, get a wine and a beer and be lucky with that. Mm, this? this card... It is absolutely the right part of the martini glass, but that Mox Moscow Mule Messes doesn't up. match. <laughs> so it's so hard to get three sides to match. I know. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So that ain't going to work. Oh shoot, I forgot I had this card. I could have played that card and saved that. Oops. Mm -hmm. That would have been 
That's what I have to do my next turn. Everyone remind me I've got to play on top of that card next turn. Take my sweet time Unless then. Unless I get something that completes. Yeah, I have to play this. And I believe you have to. You can't just willingly discard either, right? It says right. If, you have, uh, if you have a play, you have to play it. If unable to play a card. Not yep, so if you discard sure. your card and your opponent points out that you could play it instead, you have to play it, even if you didn't want to. All right, there we go. I guess we're just going to melt. I wonder if we, like, join our two tableaus together and make something. Can I guess we could house rule that. I don't think that's probably in the official rules. No. Um. Well, that's not really helpful. No. Nope. Nope. Uh, I guess it's gonna go there then, because I can play it. I don't want to, but I can play it. All right. Is this the card I need to win? No. It's like no. Ha <laughs> no. Take that. You can't have a half mar a quarter <laughs> martini glass <laughs> Be slash a wine. Alright, so do I play this there or do I go up there and play I go up there and play this. Hey, listen to me lime about absolutely Your turn. shots. Hmm. I have a feeling that you're holding on the beer drunk card, and as soon as I play, you're... Oh, you're going to give it to me now. Okay. I just drew it. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I, wasn't, I wasn't hoarding it. I just drew it. <laughs> well, I need to start with drawing one. So, oh, this is so close to me, what I need for You're just so many really things. drunk over here. That's why I'm not playing so well. All right. I'm going to become sober, so I, I'm back to having, well, <laughs> I'm not going to be functioning very well tomorrow <laughs> with all the wine, beer, and tequila drinking I'm doing over here, I guess. Wah, oh, wah, you got all three. Three drinks. Oh, way to go. Tequila. Moscow Mule followed by a tequila shot. We're going to round off the night, night with some red wine. <laughs> All right, that's oh, Drinker's Duel. That is Drinker's Duel. So what do you think of it? It's it's fun. It's silly. It's competitive. It doesn't have a... It has a, not a lot of complexity. So you could play it while you're drinking, I guess. It's a uh, light... I did. I demonstrated <laughs> that. It's a, light, it's a light game that... It comes in a card-sized box. You put it in your purse. You put it in your pocket. If you go to a bar and you have a big enough table space, or you're out somewhere and you just want something to play quick while you're waiting for food or waiting for other people to come up, this is a nice game. Yeah, I like think you're going to have to be at a pretty decent sized pub table, like a pub table for four or something like that. Is playing this as a two player, like I don't, I don't like I've never been to a bar where I have this much bar top to play this game. It definitely yeah. eats for a two player game. It eats a lot of table, which I which is fine. I don't mind that at all. Um, it's just that if you're, if you're going to travel with us, you do need to be, make sure that you have an, an appropriate play area because yes, the travel size is just whatever mm -hmm. the 40 some cards plus the, right. the couple of rule cards. So it's just a little box, but, um, it, it was really good. It was a lot of fun. I did really enjoy it. You know, it's another one of those games are, okay. Yeah. I know we played a prep game to just make sure before we shot the video, that we knew how to play this game, but I was actually excited for that rematch yes. to see if I could get the win. And I really and, want to play mess two out of three right now. Yeah, it's, we are probably going to play this as soon as we, you know, wrap it's the video. A quick, it's a quick enough game. The artwork is very distinctive, so mm -hmm. you know what everything is. Even if you don't know the names of these different drinks or cocktails. You, you're just matching you art. The, yeah, you're matching art, but it's easy to see the differences between them. The shapes are nice, so if you have uh, colorblindness, you can yeah. look at the shape. So I think that should hopefully be good. Um, even if you have some sight issues, like it's it's nice. It's mm -hmm. um, my my only my only concern is that it does take a lot of table real estate. You know, I almost you know I I get, I understand the form factor for the cards, 
this could definitely have benefited from, you know, I like the large art on the cards. It makes it easy to see the art and see the see everything. But at the same time, for a travel game, I wish it took up a little bit less table space. Yeah. That said, it for the retail for the MSRP of almost nothing for the deck of cards, I'd recommend you go out and pick this one up. It's a nice yes. little game. Uh, if you play a lot of two player games, you're definitely gonna impre- you're gonna definitely gonna enjoy this one. Yes. Hey there, it's Konzi. Thank you so much for watching. We put out videos weekly here at Wisco Dice. Check out our channel for more great videos and don't forget to subscribe. We also have more great content on our website at wiscodice.com. Of course, we do this all for you, the viewers. So please like the video if you enjoyed it and thanks for watching.